are you in a, in your studio? Yeah, I'm in my studio actually. Um, I I was I was about to to start working, but I remember then we had a meeting, so I thought let me just you know let's do yeah. that now yeah. before I work. Yeah. Why not? Why not? I, I love your your colorful background. Good. <laughs> yeah, I did this. I did this a few, uh, a few months back or three three months or so. Pretty cool, yeah. Yeah, that's great. Uh, in this new episode of the podcast, we have uh, Tobias with us, and that's uh, really nice to meet you and talk. And we're gonna have the chance to talk about your art, your practice, and it's. Um, I go. Uh, in, I was curious about your paintings because um, the portrait that you do are really like colorful, and there is a lot of like movement and like a really they're really like. Uh, impactful. So I was really looking forward to talking to you. Um, before yeah. we go into your practice and into your paintings, um, introduce yourself, um, yeah, a little bit of your background so the audience um, knows a little bit about you. All right. So um, name is Taviso Dagamela. Uh, I think I always say that I've, I've always been an artist uh, by blood. Because I mean, I started drawing when when I was pretty young, like primary school, you know. And so um, I'm a visual artist. Um, I started doing art professionally uh, about seven years ago, and um, uh, you know, it's it's something that I've taken as a practice and I've I've embraced as a part of me. Mm. Um, I'm, I'm born to a, 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 a family of um, uh, two, uh, my brother and I. So I've, I'm the older older brother and um, I'm a mixed breed actually. Uh, my mother is Zimbabwean and my dad is South African. And um, so I just like have this interchange between the two countries. Um, other than that, uh, I think that's basically you know the the basic information. So I'm self-taught as well. I I never I went never went to school of art, and so whatever you see is really um, me and my experiences, and obviously help from you know a few people here and there, mentorship here and there. But I never really went to to a professional art school for for my practice so yeah and do you think um i don't know if he uh if he, he might help you uh, don't have that like uh, um induction in, into into the art world uh, through school and uh, because when you don't get any uh, teaching like you i would say more free to just explore and and to see what what your art is going to uh, to evolve yeah. um and do you feel like that, or do you think like if you had some um, teaching, some um, uh, some schools, you might have developed uh, a different uh, style? Uh, it might help you or not. Like, how do you feel um, about you doing this? So, stuff? Um, it's 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 a it's a two sided coin. Um, on one end, obviously, there is that. Um, freedom of you know I, I'm not necessarily bound by any rules and uh, this is just me being as wild as I can you know exploring with what I can breaking the rules you know as as freely as I possibly can and have not having anyone to report to in a way or a particular system where I'm like ah, you know mm. um, I cannot do this because this is not what I was taught or something like that uh, at the same time, there is that element of when you're starting, especially you, you there's that element of uh, you, you're not necessarily an educated artist. So the recognition, it takes time. You have to prove yourself. Um, you, you are almost fighting yeah. a, at first. You're almost um, like a team that's trailing behind 2-0. And so now you have to make up for the two goals first for you to to actually first of all reach an equilibrium and then you can so i feel like if you are a self-taught artist in the in the artist industry maybe depending on the community that you are there is mm -hmm. that um there's that element of you need to prove yourself first because 
the recognition might not come it's, it's, yeah. as, 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 as the way that it's supposed to come in a way. And, um, but besides that, or, you know, you sit down and you think, well, maybe it's for me, it, it works. It has worked for me. It, it may not have worked for other artists, but mm. at some point, maybe you do need the, the history of art, the theory part of art to learn about other artists. And, and so that's when now you, if, if you never got that opportunity to go to school for art, now you have to teach yourself those things. And if you are to, you know, to, to be, uh, working at an equal level with everyone else who has gone to school, so it's it's pretty much a balanced sort of um, situation. It yeah, just depends I, on what you make up. I agree. It's because um, I did uh, I did some I did studies I did uh, college and university, but I did it later in my life, and um, mm -hmm. I was uh, I had a lot of like uh, technical skills that I learned by like by myself or self taught, and. Mm -hmm. And then I kind of like see the two sides of like yeah. the school and the being self-taught and which is, yeah, it's completely, I completely agree for what you said. And um, it gives you the freedom, um, but at the same time, if you do that a certain path, um, yeah. the recognition is like, yeah, it's more, you kind of have to work more, um, work harder yeah. and work more for, for yourself if you do it let's say everything by yourself so sure. yeah completely agree um let's go into your practice because that's what i mean, really interesting when I, I interview artists it's the practical um yeah. uh, way of working uh, of the artist so how do you start do you have your black your white canvas or paper whatever you use um how do you start your paintings um do you have any reference um why a certain palette? What were you? What what you're thinking before you actually go into the comments? Um, because I I I I I I like to believe that there is a lot of energy. You know, there's there's a lot of energy that we either put into our work or that we gain from our work, right? So for me, really, to start off my day or to, to, to start working on a, on a piece, it's more than just coming into the studio and then start painting, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, I have to, it, it also owes much to um, the particular emotions that I'm probably going through at that particular moment. And so it means that I have to be um, cautious about the energy you know, that I have that surrounds me and all that. And, so normally I just like to just listen a bit to a bit of music. So I usually start my days early, pretty early, around 4, 4 a.m. ish. And then, you know, they, I, I, I start reading, you know, I'm just meditating and stuff. And I figured that that is somewhat contributed to, to making my day um, fruitful because, you know, I start early, just start working on myself because, you know, as an artist, you, there's a lot that you give, you know, into, into your work. You, yeah. you put yourself in there, you, you give, a, a huge chunk of yourself into your work so i work on myself first before i come to the studio and then then when i get to the studio now you know start setting up and and all that so depending on what i'm working on sometimes i have i have the storyline already in my mind i just need to translate it to the canvas sometimes i just allow the the brush and the and the canvas and you know and the paint just lead and i just follow you know so that there are times when i just get to the studio see a white canvas i like it i just you know start mixing mixing colors and do some of those spontaneous you know spontaneous strokes and then something comes out of it and sometimes i already have a storyline i have i already have something figured out i, I have a write-up of things that i want to do sort of a map or, or, or a plan of the kind of paintings that i want to do so i get there do the sketches and 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 then get on with it so it really mm. It, 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 it's dependent uh, upon, you know, what I'm feeling, my experiences, my emotions then, and, you know, the mood as well and the atmosphere and, and, and all that, but also the drive. I always try to always have a drive. So everything else comes secondary. If I don't have the drive, it becomes difficult to, to paint and make a nice piece. Yeah. You just get there. You see that now this, this, I'm painting trash. You know, that, that happens. Get to the yeah, studio, yeah, yeah. You, you do good, and then you start working and you see that you're not even there. So 
um it's it's something like that you know subtle mm. but some, some do you subtle. do you start with um with a reference uh or is because like it's a figure um, so that's yeah. why i'm asking because usually like people off uh from life or pictures or like photos um but be, yeah i do portrait so do you have like a, a a little reference where you start to or is uh, you kind of like plan on on the go what to do yeah so that also depends um sometimes i just because i've been doing this for years I, and, and and all that so sometimes i just get here i just paint because mm. there's maybe an emotion that i want to to put through through the real painting that i'm making so sometimes i just paint from my head and then sometimes i do use references and um as as i've as i was i've grown to to become the artist that i am today i've learned to to you know stick to original um to be original even with my references so i take i shoot my own references now i have people that i ask you know to pause as my uses and yeah and especially um if you check my page I, i i did put a note that i'm working on a this solo show that i've asked you know to pause as a use and stuff and so i use references mostly if i have like an, an interesting storyline that i want to portray i'll give you an example of so the painting i did of four, four women who are about to hold their hands like this it's an old painting you see it on my page so um i i wanted um the title is bond so i wanted to portray um bond, a special bond and in such a way that when someone looks at it they can just feel it you know it's that strong it's that inviting and so in cases like that that's when i i asked this family to like could you please pause for me so it was the mother and three daughters and it just paused mm. and, you know it came out nice so i do use references times and sometimes i don't yeah yeah i see yeah. it is it, yeah i don't think it's um uh is the best to uh focus like uh, get stuck in one way of working like if you see that uh, in this case you need a reference and for some whatever reason maybe the position is a bit uh, um, complicated so to imagine that position would be too complicated to it will take too long um sometimes times it's what literally like any artist um it's lucky enough it's mm-hmm. having a time in the day to do what you want yeah. to do um so you might want to get a little bit faster there so you get pictures of it so it it, it is good for me and i i i advise like artists in general to don't get stuck in one way of working and if you think that in this case you need a, a, a photo go ahead do a photo a photo shooting uh make sure it how you want it if it's not just go with your gut and it it doesn't it gives you always the, that freshness of like when you're working it's, yeah i think is that uh, that's really important um do you use um um acrylic oil a little bit both yeah so um i've been using acrylic mostly um for for years now i've, I've just had this you know nice relationship with acrylic because um if you if you check there's a lot of uh, texture in my work so i think acrylic is one medium that just sort of helps to bring out that um so it's acrylic it's been mostly acrylic and um a bunch of mixed media newsprints charcoal um mm. recycled material but recently i've fallen in love with oil because um i realized that oil is more friendly with you know especially when you're working on skin i think the oil is the best medium for for, for skin textures and and, and mm. tones so um for this particular show actually that i'm doing all the pieces are, are in oils um it 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 allows me to you know come back and you can come back and revise and just maybe correct and fix a few things with oil as compared yeah. to acrylic with acrylic you know once you put put a stroke it dries up instantly yeah it's super quick yeah and yeah so <laughs> so yeah um, but um yeah, I'd, i'd say both both nice nice i i love i love oil it's what i grew up like in during my studies and uh, in the past um what i use yeah. the most um at the moment i'm using acrylic is for different reason um yeah um 
but I, I kind of have a fun with acrylic. It's literally like it's the fun medium for me. It's I'm not thinking about it, yeah. even because it's not that expensive. Like you need to think about that yeah. as well. It's it's just literally like you play with it. I, I'm I'm a kid when I I, I use acrylic. Um, yeah. when I do oil, I, I it's more kind of like a really. I want to give value to more value to that that painting in, yeah. in particular. Um, yeah. What what the um, what does it inspire you to 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 paint? So, for example, what I mean by that is, um, do you want to give a message to through your your paintings? Um, um, do you want to give a particular? Do you want to discuss a particular? Um, subject with, with your paintings or um, those paintings are for you to to like uh, explore something that you want to like like a subject that you you care about um, do you do you want to uh, give a message through your paintings or because you I'm asking this because um, you were talking about before um, about uh, bonding and how the painting represents like the title yeah that's why I'm, I'm thinking that uh some artists you work like that they i have an idea and with which the idea most of the time is the title of the artwork and through yeah. like with that they try to represent with a like an actual figure or um like a yeah. with a picture uh, with the idea so is that something that yeah. goes through your mind like that I'd like to to consider myself as as a, a social critic, because my my work really is is it 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 owes so much to me observing what what happens around me and you know observing myself as as I grow as as I evolve as a person and and all that. Mm. So I sit down and I I gather all those thoughts and um, I come up with an idea of you know, there's so much that's happening. There's so much that's happening to myself, to the world and stuff. And, you know, for that reason, I, I think, take for example, in recent, recent, um, recently, you know, this is so much chaos. There's, there's, you know, just all those negative vibes and all that. So my, my philosophy is, you know, let's let's communicate positive energy. Let's try to to communicate positive energy. I mean, it's one it's one thing to wake up in the morning and you're just surrounded by negativity. Your day gets mm. gets ruined. But if you can wake up and you go to your to your to your lounge or your foyer or something and you look at a beautiful piece with these warm bright colors and, and you just put a smile on your face, I think that that should count to to something. And and um. Also, if you notice, there's there's a lot of subject matter. Most of my subject matter is women and and children. So, because I feel like there's a lot to harvest from observing uh, women in terms of emotion. There's a lot of emotion that we can gather from them and how expressive they are as compared to to, to our masculine figures and children because of the innocence and and you know um, the honesty in in a child. So the perspective there is to try and make this come from a space of uh, pure intentions in a way. So the idea is really is to, is to try and portray as much positive energy as, as possible to try and communicate positivity and you know not just see a beautiful painting, but see something that either inspires you or something that makes you smile, you know, um, so it's pretty much that with with my work that that's that's why I, um, I also you know and 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 still on that I actually get reviews you know someone people would send emails like hey man you know I I I, I bought this piece from you I was going through this this and that and I get nice. this I get this piece and you know it has changed my life and those are some of the special moments even in my work yeah. that I feel like this is me. this this makes me wake up the following day and like let's push again you know if if we can speak to one person out there it's 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 enough the, the idea is not to change the world but you know to just reach out to one person out there one person at a time so so yeah that's that's sort of what what inspires my work 
It's, yeah, it's true. Like, it's, even if it's not that often, sometimes people buy your app just because they like the picture or whatever. But when that happens, it, it's amazing. Um, I was curating an exhibition for an artist recently that she went through, yeah. she went through like, uh, and I didn't know, like, obviously, but, but it came out during the conversation and she went through like something horrible. And she literally said to me, look, the only thing is like, um, keep me like hoping it's looking for, for this exhibition. And I was like, whoa, that's, that's a lot. That's, that's a lot of responsibility for myself. But yeah. it's those, those moments that you're like, okay, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm doing something nice. I'm doing something positive. I'm doing something yeah. that helps people in a way to, to do. Because yeah. it's, it's what most of the time as an artist, you, you think about your selling, you think about the commercial and the marketing way, like the aspects of, the, of, the, of your practice. But at the end of the day, it's, yeah. it's this what it is about, like art in general, is giving hope, um, uh, shine a light on, uh, on, on a subject that you, that, you, yeah. that you want to, and people did not realize maybe, or they, they were like, oh, finally somebody's talking about. So it, it, yeah. it, your art can be that tool that makes other people thinking about something, uh, makes other people happy. Um, and, yeah. but unfortunately in this kind of society, in this kind of world, like you need to think about most of the time you get sucked into like the selling aspect, the organizing exhibition, the, you, I need to do this because, but yeah, yeah. paintings and art in general can be, can be really important for some people to, to explore. Could be a painting, could be a, a music is, that you, can, can be a music day, yeah, a song it's, it's, that you're doing. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really yeah, important. It's, it's deep, it's deep like that. It's, it's, it's more than, you know, like you're saying that the artists are different and, you know, what drives us is different really. But I always have this idea that, um, you know, art is too deep, man. It's too deep for just making money, you know? Um, yeah. I, I don't know, obviously someone would think differently about this, but I'm always skeptical of people who are just solely driven by money. Okay, let's just make money, let's just make money. But, you know, um, what else besides making money? What else can we give to the world? It's like the, the, the principle of generosity, principle of giving. The more you give, you know, you, 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 you quickly learn to understand that when you give, you, you actually grow as a person, right? So as an artist, when you give a part of yourself and you know, when you look beyond what I'm going through, beyond my suffering, beyond my experiences, and, and you look further than that, and you look at, you, you, you put yourself in other people's shoes. It also helps you to understand people, you know, to understand what someone can, is going through and to help out where you can. Of course, there's that danger that maybe at some point you end up uh, piling so much burden upon yourself and carrying burdens that are not yours. Sometimes yeah. that can can affect you, you know, it can affect your emotion and, and be toxic. But also um, when you tread carefully along, along those those areas and you just, you know, because I think artists are givers. Naturally, I think artists are just givers, man. Yeah. The fact that you want to yeah. do this and you want, you want to share with the world, it makes you a giver. So in addition to that, you know, it, it's, it's, it, it's just always something special about being an artist and being able to reach out to, to change lives like that. And so I think for me, that's really something that, that gets, me, gets me going, that gets me up yeah. in the morning and wanting to create more. Yeah. It's one, of, it's one of the reasons, for example, that I started this podcast is because uh, I, was, uh, I always wanted to start one, but I was super busy doing, doing yeah. just living like life in general. Um, and I was yeah. like, okay, I might start one day, but lockdown happened. And I was like, listen, I'm, I'm starting this. Like, uh, God, this is the opportunity for me to start. I was missing the, the aspect of like sharing with artists experience and talking about art yeah. and paintings and what we are doing right now. Uh, I was missing that yeah. so much. So I was like, I want to create like a space where we can just talk. We can just talk about art. We can talk about anything, but it's, it's, 
is yeah is literally like the simple reason like that for me to to create a little community of artists sharing their experience yeah. and I'm not looking for the massive names or I'm not looking for yeah. the uh, crazy experience I'm, I want to just talk about art. It, it's simple yeah. as that um, yeah. and then sharing the the stories with other people it's, it's um, yeah it is what it is literally what motivates me in and in, in a lot of things it's um, the giving to giving the opportunity to other people that that uh, yeah. really important that's really important for what i'm doing in general yeah um so what's the plan for you um in the in the future what you have planned um, are you working on the, like a series or an exhibition so yeah um so I'm, I'm working on a on an exhibition now um i'm hoping it's going to to to, to open uh sometime in october that's what mm -hmm. I'm working on. And I have, a, I have a body of work that it's been a while, literally. I've started working on this um, a few months back. It's just that I've been really taking it slow. I, I, I was in, in a rush. Um, initially, I was supposed to, to have the show somewhere in the US, but um, there were a few changes. And so I'm going to have to do it here. But hopefully, hopefully in the near future, I'll be showcasing that side. But so far, the the immediate plan is, is to is to have this show and, and get it going. That's great. That's great. And is that uh, yeah. with the oil painting you were talking about before? Yes, that's the one. That's the one. I just need to adjust my step a bit here. All right. Sure. Um. What 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 are you based again? Um. Where are you calling from? I'm I'm in South Africa. In South Africa. Is that uh, how is I'm always curious when like people are, like places around the world when we call um when i do these calls um how is the uh the heart environment like is that easy yeah. or well i, will, I, know, I, I never yeah. expect it's easy but um it's yeah. like art friendly to to have a, an art career um yeah yeah um so for years, for years, really, I'd say it's been hard to 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 make it as an artist because um, basically the society has the mentality that you know education, education, education. You know, go to mm. school, get your academics. You know, be a lawyer, be a what. So, and that's something that was also you know taught to our parents and and all that. And so everyone, um, the the community, and society would just expect that you know artists sort of you know a, an extracurricular thing, a, a hobby. But I'm I'm proud to say that in in recent years, really, I've seen a change in the reception of um, even in 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 terms of how the government, of course, there's still that stereotype and and all that. But what the society, the government, there's there's this sort of this feel now of, you know, art is actually a, a notable career that people can can make a living out of. And mm. you can see um, even the, the government programs that are now being introduced, you know, and slowly, I think slowly, slowly our communities are starting to, to catch up to the, to, the, to the reality of the facts that art and, and other, you know, craftsmanships and stuff, they are, they are things that are industrial, industrial and And, and and um even TV pro quite, quite a lot nowadays where like this and inspiring other young artists, other upcoming artists, and you you go into the communities even in low density, the high density and low density communities, you see that some parents have also learned, you know, to, to accept and support support art. I have I have students, so every year I sort of take a mentor a mentorship program for an upcoming artist there's an artist that i look randomly i do my um uh, scanning as well i just you know pick an artist randomly and mentor them in in and and share with them what i've learned because i'm a self-taught artist and i know how it feels like to be an artist and not be able to make it you know yeah so um 
I was I was actually you know recently we had a show and the whole family came to support you know things like that. So there is a change now, a, a, a very positive change, a positive attitude towards art and the artists, and it's it's not something that's obviously happening overnight. It's a gradual process, but mm. you can note the changes, and and I think. There's, a, there's quite a number of um, black, you know, black people that side, because, you know, in as much as we, we, we are people and we are one and stuff, there's always just been that thing of, nah, art is a white, white uh, people thing. And it's just, but now you see um, uh, black collectors, again, like numbers, you know, coming to collect, coming to support. And I think that that is positive. I think really the, the it's mean, now, I mean, a, a friendly environment for artists to actually practice. It's, it's becoming better and better every day. So, yeah. That's great. I, I ask that um, yeah. to a lot of people because um, where, where, where I'm from, I'm from South of Italy, um, and you will think that, you know, Italy is yeah. art friendly because obviously it's, it's where yeah. a lot of art coming from. I mean, we all think Europe is the home of art. Yeah. <laughs> we all thought uh, that. Yeah. Uh, funny enough, um, as a young artist, upcoming artist, I will, I could never, I could never do what I'm doing here. Uh, well, at the moment I'm in Berlin, but I used to be in the UK for a long time. I could never dream of what I did in the UK and here in Italy. Yeah. It's, it. I'm from South of Italy. Maybe it's different in the north, but it's difficult it's really difficult and don't, i don't see doing this uh, in italy unfortunately as yeah as obviously it should be the opposite i lost you there for a bit yeah true true i'm sorry maybe lost my connection it's a bit okay That's okay um are you are you there? Yeah, are, got are you hearing me probably now. Yeah, yeah. And you know what you're saying, is, and and if you notice, I don't know if it's 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 um easily noticeable that side. There's there's been this a healthy interest in African contemporary art in recent years. Yeah. Um, I think in the past five five years coming coming side is really yeah. both from Europe and from the United States and, and there's this healthy interest in, in contemporary art and you know especially from Africa I think that's you know that's something beautiful as well um, it, is, it is nice and to have yeah the recognition for uh, I went to Zambia um, for like almost a month and because my girlfriend is African she's from Zambia and we we traveled there around, and the amount of artists that I met there, it's it's unbelievable. There are so many artists, and yeah. most of them they are so good. And it is yeah. nice to see in the art world in general, in the in the West, uh, in the West world, it's the recognition of African artists and yeah. African art, which is. It's really important in art history. African art is so important, and most a lot of people don't realize that. But it's literally like where the basics of art history is, is, is started, and um, I consider one of the most important like movement and in the in the art world in general. And it's um, it's really it's really nice to to see the recognition finally to to those to those artists that yeah true. yeah they are from this this country, yeah. which is. Which is really important, and one the winner uh, of the uh, Venice uh, Biennale in Venice it was an African American woman, and she 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 was she yeah. pretty established, and she's 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 a massive artist, but it is is important that those people are like on the top now because yeah. it is a good change. It's a definitely good change. Anyway, yeah, um, I yes, don't want to take yeah. too much too much of your time. Um, Thank you very much to be part of the podcast. It was a it was a pleasure for you for me to interview. It was a really great conversation. Thank you very much. Thanks so much. Appreciate it, man. Um, and um, you said you're you you're based in the UK now. Uh, in Berlin. I'm in Berlin now. Yeah. Oh, Berlin.
I was in the UK for so a long you, time. So you're yeah. working there. You're doing a curatorial. Um, you what you're doing both as an artist and the curator and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm the next. Okay. And you yeah. you do organize exhibitions as well and and all that. Yeah, do that. Yeah. Yeah, we can we can we can, uh, we can talk and maybe some one Those... day we can we can organize something together. <laughs> yeah, sure. Because um, it's 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 a market that I want to try. I haven't had much um, uh, to do. I think I had only one group show in Berlin, and mm. it's I think it's an interesting market, African art, and you know, yeah. Given that, Berlin, Berlin something is... that would really. Berlin is great for that. Yeah, yeah Berlin, is, great uh, Berlin is great. Yeah. Um, do you wanna do you wanna you give like. your um do you wanna give your Instagram your website uh, so people can check you out? Sure. Um. So Instagram it's art by Tabiso Dagamela at underscore by underscore Tabiso Dagamela, and um. So my, my website my website is currently down. Uh, something happened to it and stuff. So I'm probably going to new to move to a new one soon soon. Ah, but nice. uh, my email is is tabiso sq at gmail dot com. Um, I think you can be you can find me there. But yeah, my busiest page is the Instagram page. So yeah, I will put all the link in the description so people can go and click and check it out and check you out. Again, thank you very much for the for the conversation. It was great. Uh, we'll definitely keep in contact. And uh, I love you. It's great. Thanks so much, man. Appreciate it. Good day.